This video describes the process involved in the in-service software upgrade or ISSU of Cisco Nexus 7000 series devices. What is ISSU? ISSU is a process through which networking devices and firmware can be patched or upgraded without interrupting the underlying device or equipment's operations. This way, the network traffic is not disturbed. Thus, you can apply bug fixes or deploy new features during production without disrupting data traffic. ISSU updates the following. The kickstart image, the system image, the supervisor module BIOS, the data module image, the data module BIOS, and the connectivity management processor and its BIOS. ISSU uses the existing features of non-stop forwarding with stateful switchover to perform software upgrades with no system downtime. This ensures maximum network availability with minimal downtime as a result of device maintenance or upgrade processes. ISSU upgrades the entire system, including all the configured VDCs. To understand the ISSU process, let us see an example of a Cisco Nexus 7000 device being upgraded from release 6.2.10 to 6.2.12. Before we start the upgrade, let us understand the prerequisites. ISSU is possible only in a dual supervisor environment. Ensure that you have sufficient space on the active and standby supervisors to download the software image. Also ensure that the network is stable and steady before starting the ISSU process. ISSU is not supported in maintenance mode. To understand the ISSU process better, we recommend that you refer the following documents which are available on Cisco.com. Cisco Nexus 7000 Series NX OS Release Notes Cisco Nexus 7000 Series Software Upgrade and Downgrade Guide are the documents that you can refer to understand the ISSU process. Check the ISSU matrix in the corresponding release notes document to ensure that ISSU is supported for that release. The Cisco Nexus 7000 series NX OS upgrade and downgrade guide lists the caveats and limitations of the ISSU process. Understanding these aspects helps you to manage ISSU process better. Cisco NX OS 6.x releases support multi-hop ISSU. All the Cisco NX OS releases earlier than 6.2.8a can perform multi-hop ISSU to releases 6.2.12, 6.2.14 and 6.2.16. The table lists the supported multi-hop ISSU paths. However, Cisco NX OS releases 7.2 and later do not support multi-hop. During the upgrade, do not change the configuration settings or network connections. Any changes to the network settings may cause a disruptive upgrade. Note that the configuration mode is blocked during the upgrade to prevent changes to the network configuration. Here you can see a system that is running Cisco NXOS release 6.2.10. Log into the console port on both the active and standby supervisor modules and copy the NXOS 6.2.12 kickstart and system images to the device. To perform an upgrade to Cisco NXOS release 6.2.12, you must first check the health of the system by running the show install all command. This command also checks the compatibility of the image in relation to the platform. When you see that the show install command results in 100% success, run the install all command to begin the upgrade procedure. The install all command checks the health of the system, performs a platform validity check to verify that the wrong image is not used and checks for image integrity. After these checks are completed, you are provided with an option to either continue the upgrade or cancel it. The install all command upgrades the entire device and reloads the new Cisco NX OS software into the standby supervisor module. 
it also reloads the active supervisor module with a new image. This causes a switch over to the newly upgraded standby supervisor module. The connectivity management processor on both the supervisors is also upgraded. At the end of the installation, a supervisor module switchover occurs and the standby supervisor becomes the current active supervisor. There, we have successfully upgraded to NXOS 6.2.12. Verify that the upgrade is successful by running the show version and show module commands in any order. As you can see, all the modules have 6.2.12 software on them. Sometimes, while performing an ISSU, you might face a disruption in the process due to various reasons. If you do face an issue, rectify the problems if any and restart the upgrade process. In order to prevent the ISSU process from failing, ensure that the network is stable before starting the ISSU process. Ensure that the standby supervisor module boot flash file system has sufficient space to accept the updated image. Ensure that the specified system and kickstart images are compatible. Do not configure the network or device while the upgrade is in progress. Ensure that the spanning tree protocol topology change does not occur while the upgrade is in progress because this will disrupt the upgrade process. Do not enter the install all command on the standby supervisor module. It should be specified on the active supervisor. Ensure that the install all command references the default boot flash in a dual supervisor module configuration. Ensure that no module is remote while the upgrade is in progress. Ensure that none of the devices face power disruption while the upgrade is in progress. Specify the correct path for the remote server location. Ensure that none of the FEX ports are operating in LACP fast rate mode. If they do, ISSU fails. Ensure that all the images are compatible after an upgrade. For example, an I.O. module image may be incompatible with a system image or a kickstart image may be incompatible with a system image. You can identify this by running the show install all impact command. Ensure that none of the line cards are in the failure state, else the ISSU will fail. For more information about the ISSU process, refer the Cisco Nexus 7000 series upgrade and downgrade guide.